Matchlock units in Shogun 2 are honestly among the toughest units to use in this game. From the line of sight issues to their complete incapability to engage in melee, I have always found them a hassle to control in an army. In the past, I usually have just resorted to archers, but I decided to sit down and find some of the best strategies to get the most effective damage output from your matchlock units in battle, and I think you might find what I learned helpful. So before we start the video, I just wanted to thank all my viewers and subscribers for helping me reach 50 subscribers. It's these types of milestones that keep me coming back to the YouTube community, so I really do appreciate this. For any new viewers, consider dropping a sub if you enjoy the content. It would really mean a lot. Anyways, back to the video. So the first aspect to utilizing matchlock units is to take advantage of the terrain whenever possible. I've always found that my matchlock units are only able to fire a couple volleys into the enemy before being chased back by enemy infantry or cavalry. If you manage to set up your army on a hill, your matchlock will actually still be able to fire over the top of your infantry units, even if they're behind them. Again, line of sight is kinda weird in Chongen 2, so sometimes I find them still blocked, in which case I'll try to move the units as far up the hill as possible. You also need to make sure you pick the correct units to fire at. If you pick an enemy unit that is engaged in melee with your own infantry, you might just end up firing into the back of your own men and causing more harm than good. So you can probably tell by now that terrain still doesn't solve a lot of the problems that matchlock units have, which leads me to the second strategy, using them in flanking maneuvers. Again, because clear line of sight is actually pretty hard to accomplish, the best thing you could use your matchlock for is to shoot into the backs of the enemy. So when two infantry lines meet in melee, what you could do is actually cycle the matchlock units around the entire army, line up at the flanks, and let them completely rout the units in a matter of seconds. This is probably the most effective way to use your matchlock troops, but it does come with risks. The gun units will be completely unprotected, so if the enemy has any cavalry units that haven't been engaged in melee yet, it is likely they will charge into your men and you'll probably lose the unit. These flanking maneuvers are honestly the only thing you can do to keep matchlock units firing on a flat field terrain, and the only other option is to stick the gun units behind your melee line and have them either shoot your men in the back or stand around and do nothing, but in this case they'll take almost no losses so it's honestly your choice. If you're willing to handle the risk then go for the flanking maneuvers but otherwise just leave your men behind the infantry line. The final strategy is a quick and easy one. If you can, aim your matchlock units at cavalry or general units. Matchlock are generally much more effective against cavalry units than normal melee troops, and so if you manage to rout cavalry, those flanking maneuvers I mentioned before can come to fruition. Also, if you manage to knock out the general, all the enemy troops will take a huge morale loss and will rout much quicker than usual. In the end, matchlock units are a very high risk, high reward unit, and I hope this tutorial helps you get the most out of them. Anyways, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you guys in the next one.